Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. This pencil, oh, it's getting worn down to a nub here. Scraping against the paper when I write on it. Hopefully we got a short seed today. That's a joke. It doesn't make any sense, really. Let's random up here. No lost. That could be the lost. Probably going a little, whew, thankfully a little too slow to actually end up there. We got Lazarus. I like a nice Lazarus run now and then. KDXT. Ugh, just sends shivers down my spine. My body's aching all the time. KDXT AN37. I gotta get a pencil sharpener. People still sell those? Do those still exist in this day and age? I know that's a ridiculous question. I always, you know, I remember specifically, it was fifth grade. Our teacher said, you know, this is the year you guys have finally uh, graduated enough, you know, you're, you're old enough, you can use pens instead of pencils. And so I, I never looked back really from that moment, and now I understand in my advancing age the, the benefit of the pencil. You know, the pen is easy. Because you know you're going to make mistakes, but you just accept that mistakes are going to happen. The pencil is a perfectionist writing tool, and I am not a perfectionist. It's weird how those parallels exist. But anyway, I, I respect the pencil more as I grow up. I wish I was a, a more avid pencil user, but unfortunately I just... You know, I, I can't change who I am. I gotta get some pens. Also, the pens don't need a sharpener, which I think is my principal element. But if you leave a pencil in your pocket and do the laundry, it doesn't ruin all your clothes. It's very, you know, I'm not going to take a horse in this race, basically. I will say, I love uh, the fact that we've picked up Unicorn Stump, and I love the fact that we've picked up Small Rock as well. We're one-shotting these enemies, even with uh, Lazarus' relatively terrible damage. Chariot's pretty good as well. Especially if we actually do get enough money to get a Blood Bank on the next floor. So how do I... How do I feel about this? I don't really care about that damage so much. Five cents is exactly where we want to be. We're going to take this pill and hope it's not a statistical downgrade. That's fine. Not ideal, but fine. We're going to go fight this boss, and it's the haunt. And then we'll probably end up using the chariot card on the next floor to hopefully mitigate the effects of not having a spirit heart. You know, if we use it on a room that's complicated, we might be able to get through said complicated room without taking damage, thereby giving us a better chance of actually getting a deal with the devil. Pretty important. But for now. The haunts? I don't really care if we take damage in the process here. Be I mean, it might even be better to take damage in the process here. Because I'm probably going to get myself killed after the haunt fight. Uh, in order to take the increased, like, 1.2? And now I'm getting my multipliers confused. Is it 1.2 extra damage? When you respawn with Lazarus's rags as Lazarus? I can't remember. But increased damage nonetheless, I would take it. If there's HP here, which it is, so yeah, I'll, I'll probably end up killing myself here if we can find like some spikes or something, and we'll take meat and we'll be on our merry way. And I think that's a pretty good situation to find ourselves in. Please don't tell me I didn't leave any fire or anything alive. Come on, come on. I mean, it's still I picked up some HP by accident there. It's still good, you know. We still have meat, but I don't think there's any way for. Oh, you know what? On the shop, there's fire. You you remember that old catchphrase? Where there's shops, there's fire. I think there's a pretty good case to be made that that is an incredibly stupid thing that I just did, but at the same time, we're gonna get meat. Why am I not spending my money? I'm not spending my money on the Spirit Heart to try to make, like, a ridiculous gamble that may or not be good. Basically, I would much rather have a Blood Bank because we have a Cherry Card and we have Unicorn Stump, so we can make insanely good use of a Blood Bank if we were able to find one. If we're not able to find one, then so be it. The other thing that would really be awesome on this run right now is an orbital. Any orbital at all, Sacrificial Dagger would probably be king amongst them, but uh, if we could get any kind of orbital, Unicorn Stump all of a sudden is just crazy powerful, and that is awesome. If we could pick up a uh, Spirit Heart here, hmm, well, we're going to have to wait at least for a key. But if we can, oh, uh, we're going to save that one for the item room. Uh, but if we could pick up a Spirit Heart, it would make our life... An awful lot easier. For now, though, this is going just fine. We could also buy a Spirit Heart from this shop, probably, but I really want to go to our item room, and considering we're on the basement, I've got pretty high hopes that we'll be able to get through this without taking damage regardless. Now, it's probably just smarter not to do that, but I have never, I guess, played Rebirth as smart as possible. I've always played it as comfortably as possible. I'm not going to take this pill. That would be a very silly decision, I think, on my part, to maybe get Bad Trip, which is a Red Heart damage pill. Counts as red hard damage, four deals with the devil as well. X-ray vision. It's good. It's good. We had this recently on a, an NLSS. 
and I re-rolled it, and everyone freaked out. They said, holy shit, Northern Line, you just re-rolled 2020. And I freaked out for a minute. I was like, I just re-rolled 2020. I didn't even see it. And that's because it didn't fucking exist. But I still, you know, that, that has stuck with me. Even when I saw it just then, I was like, oh, nice, 2020. It's not 2020. Yeah, I bit my own tongue there. It's not 2020, but that's okay. What do we got? We got Dingle. So I'm going to hit him as hard as I can, and then the first time he charges, I'm going to pop this Chariot card. That way we can maximize the odds of us killing him when he charges, because he'll already have lost some HP in the process. And there we go. Mission accomplished. Blood Clot for some extra damage. And we will take Goathead. It's a risky play, quite obviously, but it gives us such good potential upside. By the way, if you're wondering, you know, why is this idiot not using Unicorn Stump on every single room? There's really no reason to use Unicorn Stump on every single room. Unless we're about to get hit, Unicorn Stump doesn't benefit us at all. We should be fine here. Like, if we're about to get hit by Lust or something like that, we should pop Unicorn Stump until we can get away. But without, um... Hmm. Without uh, any means of doing damage, there's not really much we can do, to be honest with you. I'm just hoping one of these is like a health upgrade now. Range down. I mean, it could be worse. What do you think? Blow up the Tinted Rock or blow up three of those skulls? I think we were much better off getting the Tinted Rock, even if it's in a totally fucked up position. I think we're going to try this. Walk out. Walk back in. I, I was freaking out. I was like, "Where? oh my god. My brain. My brain is broken. Are we in? We're in. Okay. Put it down like right here. Kick it in. Good. It worked. We even got a key back. Are we going to go to our shop? We're probably going to go to our shop. Might as well. We didn't get a, uh, a blood bank on this floor. Ruka, it's all right, buddy. It's just a video game. I'm not actually, you know, on the verge of death myself. How you doing? Pretty good? I'm glad to hear that. We did find our second secret room. Uh, I'm going to buy, because there's no good items in here, but in my opinion at least, I'm going to buy these two. And then we'll open that golden chest. Let me see what's in our second secret room. Lots of pills. Risky. Health up is great. Is it still a health up? It is. Okay, now we're in a great position. Pheromones and full health. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason necessarily to take that right now, so maybe I won't. But uh, that worked out extremely well for us. That's awesome. Why wouldn't I take it? That's a very good point. This room is just a danger zone right now. And we'll get out, and this is a fantastic situation to find ourselves in. We've had like two damage upgrades plus the Lazarus uh, damage multiplier. We don't want Necronomicon. I'm, I'm kind of okay with uh, the Unicorn stuff. It's got a lot of potential upside if we could just get a single orbital. It can, be, you know, it can become one of the most powerful items in the game for us. And I also relish the opportunity to get um, Unicorn Stump synergies because they never show up. <laughs> Unicorn Stump shows up so rarely that, you know, I like to take the opportunity to really get a lot of good stuff out of it. Synergizes well with arcades, you know, Demon Judgments, Orbitals. Synergizes amazingly with uh, Turdy Touch, a.k.a. E. Coli, and um, Midas Touch as well. Man, I have just, like, taken all of these guys to one hit away from their deaths. Poor play on my part. Strength card. You know what? Let's take full health right now. And we'll take our strength card with us. Long term, I think the strength card um, might be a little more useful. Which sounds ridiculous now that I think about it. How can it be more useful than full health that could save us from dying? But I don't think we're going to end up using it in the near future. So I decided to just stay away from it instead. I'm trying to break these things over the gaps. Because if I break them over the gaps, they won't actually spawn any silkworms. That was terrible damage. I thought he was going to die in one hit. Getting a little too cocky here. So free access to our shop. There's a fanny pack on the cheap. And a Nun's Habit. I feel like Nun's Habit Unicorn Stump is an amazing combo if we could ever get, you know, something that would allow us to do damage with Unicorn Stump, like an Orbital. You have to think the over-under on picking up an Orbital is, is pretty good, you know. If, you're, if I was a betting man, I would bet on us getting one Orbital on this run. Even if it is just like an Attack Fly or something like that, that's fine by me. Um, why not take the Bird Foot, right? Matchstick. I, I like matchstick a little better. Sure, we'll roll with that. I'm very excited. Like, this run has very little downside right now as a result of the fact that we have um, Goathead. So every single floor, we're going to have the opportunity to improve ourselves. And sometimes that's not going to be doable because of what the game gives us, and sometimes that's not going to be doable because of, uh, you know, what our situation looks like or what the items in there actually are, but we'll see. I wouldn't mind picking up a lump of coal right now, even though we've had a range downgrade. It doesn't bother me too much. Probably should take care of these nubs. Keeping the spirit heart alive is 
Important because I could trade all of our HP away in the very next room in order to get a sweet combination of deals with the devil. You alright, Ruka? Why is your mouth covered in fur? That sounds like a stupid question. I, I mean, like, there's fur inside of the mouth, not just it's a cat. Ruka! That's right, you go behind the curtain. Get your Wizard of Oz on up in there. Anyway. Lots of HP here should we ever need it, but I doubt we will. And of course, the deal with the devil. We might as well take little Steven. And I love all of these items equally. What if we take the ability to fly, and then we take Death's Touch, and then we take a Strength card, and then we take Little Brimstone. Are we just going to die immediately? No. We scummed it. Lucky me. And now that I can fly, I can pick up that black card right away. So, it turns out that strength card was actually pretty critical to our overall survival there. Or overall, you know, thriving. This is almost certainly a one run now. We just picked up Death's Touch. We picked up Little Brimstone. We picked up the little ability... Uh, <laughs> picked up Little Brimstone. I was going to say the little ability to fly. Um, now, we gave away, you know, pretty much our entire life force in order to do so. But uh, this should give us a really good bead on victory here. We're at 9 minutes and 25 seconds, which puts us uh, a little uh, a little slower than I'd like to be for getting to boss rush. But if we can finish this floor in the next, you know, minute or so, our outlook for that might be positive. But really, that's just the best deal with the devil that I could have hoped for, short of getting, like, brimstone itself instead of little brimstone. But those might be two heart deals with the devil, but they've stolen all of my hearts. In fact, they stole a heart that didn't actually belong to me. I just borrowed it, and now it's going to be awkward when I try to return it. Because it doesn't exist. Almost terrible dodging there. That could have been real nasty. Oh, this is now... It's getting interesting. We're one hit away from death. Can we use a unicorn stump with a little brimstone? That's the kind of thing I should probably test. Oh, we, I mean, we probably should go Book of Revelations here. It's... But unicorn stump, though. Dad, Unicorn Stump! You promised me we'd use Unicorn... Well, we're gonna roll the Yara rune. Oh, fine! Fucking shitty kids, I'll take Unicorn Stump, alright? I wanna see if we can use a little Brimstone with it. The answer to that question is no. Maybe if we have a shot fully charged, it'll go off, but... If possible, I would very much like to buy another Spirit Heart. We'll see if our... Okay, we'll see if our shop has that available. It does. And we can still get a blood bank on the next floor. Whether or not we actually would, you know, make use of a blood bank because we don't have any blood is another interesting conundrum for another day. For now, this Yara rune. We're going to take it down to the chest or I may consider using it on a deal with the devil that has three red chests. That's the only other time I could really... T oh, the only other time I could really see myself using that. There's a secret room. We should pay attention to that. We can fly, so don't sweat this guy too much. We will take the left hand. I want to become Guppy. I really don't want to die in this run. I'm a little scared, actually. Admittedly. Why put it... I really thought there were more bombs. I answered my own question. I just had to wait for my brain to catch up. I was like, why put it there when you could get three mushrooms with the other side? Don't try to tell me I missed out on a chance for magic mushroom or something like that. Unless you got the proof to back it up. But anyway. Um... I thought there were two bombs there, one key, but it was actually two keys, one bomb. Happens to the worst of us. Stay back. We might only have one HP, which is why I'm a little nervous here. I love Humbling Bundle, though. I was like, I, I need to get the Spirit Heart so I don't die, but I love Humbling Bundle, though. Oh, you know what we do? I'll tell you exactly what we freaking do. We get enough money. I'm not using my Yara rune for this. We get enough money to get Humbling Bundle, and then we bomb our donation machine, and it gives us two cents for every one cent that it would have normally given us. Probably don't need to bother with that right now. You're all moving away from me. Makes my life a lot easier. Another key. Mom's eye is not really good enough. Sorry, Mom's Eye. Oh, there's a Tinted Rock. We, we have to do that. With our bomb, we have to do that first. I'm assuming we're paying the Krampus tax on this floor. So I'm, I'm not worried about having HP left for, um, for Devil Deals. Also, because I've picked up, like, some amazing Devil Deals thus far. I'm not really in the market for more unnecessarily. 
Uh, Chad's relatively easy for us here. Just don't fuck it up and you should be fine. I can't believe that we haven't had Spirit Hearts pay out from uh, Tinted Rocks in a while. A lot of golden chests, a lot of uh, a lot of consumables. A little chub, that is extremely useful right now. And now don't get hit by Krampus, good god. If you think you're going to get hit by Krampus, just pop Unicorn Stump quickly. I almost did it right there. Lump of Coal. This is a great opportunity for us to take advantage of Lump of Coal. Alright, like I said, Krampus' is head. Big item. Very important. We've already been to our regular secret room as well. Hmm, what a... There's a humdinger right here. Just making sure we didn't have any HP. I was pretty confident. I really don't want to buy that spirit heart yet. Let me get Humbling Bundle first. Almost had a heart attack going over those spikes. Even though I knew I could fly, the animal parts of my brain were like, don't do it, dog. You're going to regret it. But I did it, and no regrets. For now, at least. It's a tense one. It's like we're playing the Lost without actually having to deal with the bullshit of the Lost. This would be a great Lost run right now. I mean, mind you, we did get hit. Oh, shit, we're still alive. Eddie Vedder, hello. Keep it cool. No no concerns. Do we have a bunch of red chests in here? We have one red chest. Okay, yeah. Good use of company resources right there. At least give me another bomb so I can bomb the donation machine twice. If I bomb it enough to get Humbling Bundle... Then I get, you know, probably eight cents on my next explosion of it, which allows me to buy the, the heart. I don't want to give up my humbling bundle chance because it's so useful for the rest of the game. It's not just me trying to be like a shithead. There's a second bomb. That should be good. Okay, well, way more than enough bombs now. And we might as well even go through, you know, the necessary hoops to shoot all these. If it helps us avoid bombing our donation machine even one more time, it's been worth it. That Bobby Bob bomb pickup is not amazing. But it's something. Ba 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 be bam. Ba 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 be bam. Ba 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 be bam. I thought it would be awesome. I, I told this to Nick because he pulled that shit on me like right before an NLSS once. With that, you know, just ever increasing. That's not a tinted rock right now. Uh, ever increasing pitch there. You know, normally you have like a 16 bar intro like that or an 8 bar intro like that to open your song. Wouldn't it be great if you did. Oh, I. I didn't fuck it. Okay, good. Wouldn't it be great if you did that, but you just kept it going forever? It could be like an adult swim sketch. So they, it's just like a barbershop quartet, but the pitch just keeps getting higher. And then, you know, you play out the joke for like the first 80 seconds or something like that. So people go, okay, I get it. Okay, this is boring. And then you have like some dogs move into the frame, and they just start like woofing because it's like only dogs can hear it. And you go like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, I get it. Only dogs can hear that. That's clever, adult swim. And then the dogs just like fall over. And you don't know, are they passed out? Are they dead? And then the people are just keeping their mouths open, and they keep mouthing the words, but the pitch has moved beyond human hearing, so you can't hear it at all. And the lights in the place start to flicker, and then all of a sudden everything just goes dead, like sparks start shooting from the sky, but the, you know, then their eyes just appear. Their eyes appear. And you can still see them, but they're still looking at you. And then at the end they just go, ba ba booran And then the audience claps. Think about it. I think it would be a, a cool sketch. Think about it. Any of you working at uh, Adult Swim for your winter internships? Those are a thing. That was really bad. That was super dumb. So, oh, we can see our HP, though. So that's like a really nice kind of luxury that I didn't think uh, we would ever have again in our lives. We got two and a half spirit hearts. That's something. Uh, that's what we call a sheen's worth. Two and a half of something is a it's a sheen. Whipworm? I, left hand's way more important. So, I, I will fight our first boss here. And what I will do is actually use my bombs. Ba 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 ba. No, okay, I'm not gonna actually play that through here. You know, we need a script and, you know, actors and stuff like that. Uh, we're gonna put one of these here, and we're gonna try to find a teleportation card, but also Black Hearts, you know, sign me up. No question of. Ah, oh, I fucked it up. We still got them all, but I fucked it up. Alright, fight the first boss. We're gonna go back for those consumables. It's uh, Mask of Infamy. Very easy, considering we have, uh, you know, high damage and penetrative tiers. They're actually, it's not that high damage. But I think it's because our rate of fire is kind of shitty. If I can get a higher rate of fire, this run is, I mean, it's already maybe over, but I am a little nervous about our HP, as you could probably expect. 
I'm hoping to snag a free item from Boss Rush. We got a little flexibility on this floor. There's a little bit of HP back for us. We got three minutes to basically, I'm not going to say three minutes to finish the floor, but three minutes to find a teleportation card. Don't mind if I do. Wall, uh, yeah, wall crawlers. Oh, I hate those dirty bastards. That was like an Australian Vocaloid from uh, Off World Trading Company, I guess. Just a character I've been working on. Doesn't play that well right now. Got some work to do. Awareness, etc., etc. Okay. Double item room over here is actually amazing. I was genuinely excited for the first time in years. Full health is pretty good too, but Yara is way more important. What this means is that we don't have to spend a ton of time backtracking. Why not even just pick it up? Okay, Shielded Tears, Piercing Tears is an amazing combo. It does make it so our sights don't look like sights anymore, but they still do the same amount of damage, so who cares? Looks like a weird smiley face with some poop ears here. And we're still looking for ye old teleportation. And the shop, of course. Wouldn't mind finding the shop. We'll probably take advantage of that room. Still got the Yera. Come on. Come on. Now we need, like, a uh, strange attractor. So I, th I thought about using Yera here, but it just doubles what's inside of them. So we would have actually gotten two items for that, maybe. Might have been worth it. Might not. Depends on your perspective. I would love to become Guppy on this run. Our flies would be quite potent. No question about that. 1826... It was a great year. Laura Secord was born. That's not true. She was alive by then. Making chocolates and winning the War of 1812 single-handedly. We need to find a teleportation card. It would make things so much nicer for us. That's great. I mean, that's enough money to uh, buy whatever we want from our shop. At least one of whatever we want. But we're still lacking. Uh, we're lacking the teleportation card. The bombs are nice, I appreciate them. Don't fit no, don't you feel bad about that game. But please, I am desiring of something perhaps a little bit more of the mercurial teleportation-esque variety. I'm not happy with that damage either. And we're actually coming to the point where I'm um I'm gonna drop like a bomb up here. Just to try to make it happen, because we're running out of time. Beggars can't be choosers, you know? That's not a card. No skulls going on here. I think the boss rush dream is dead, unless I want to ignore the shop and try to go to the boss rush, but I don't actually want to fight in boss rush, so that's like a whole different ball of wax. Still hate those guys, it's amazing how annoying they can still be. You want to sneak in like right there. Problem solved. Alright, boss rush, goodbye, I'll return to you at a later date. I like you, but uh, unfortunately the game doesn't like me going to you anymore. Doesn't give me the tools necessary. Watch, it's like gonna be like 1958, and we're gonna pick up uh, like a hermit card. The exact perfect teleportation card for our exact needs right now. Here it comes. Ooh, Goopy's Paw. Mm, don't mind if I do. We still have not used Unicorn Sump effectively on this run. It's burning me up a little bit, but I, I maintain hope that one day Unicorn Stump, you know, will will be the item we need it to be. But as of yet, we got two... Yes. We got two-thirds of the Guppy connection. That's extremely important. What else do we have here? A health upgrade. Oh, don't mind if I do. And a full health. And then we can use that once. But anyway, um, that's that's pretty solid. The Guppy Dream is, is very much alive and well. I actually did not want those to home. Come on now. Let's see what we got inside of here. More... Oh, nope, no red chests in there. We still got a shop coming. We got more than enough money to do what needs to be done. Keep thinking I can't fly, which is patently false because I can fly. Doesn't need to get any more extreme than that. What do you got for me, Judgment? I'd take another HP upgrade. I don't care. Maybe we'd use it with uh, Guppy's Paw. Maybe we wouldn't. Crate could be good. I don't want Samson's Lock, but I guess I'll pick it up temporarily as if I do. Pheromones is what it is. Um, we will use the Temperance card. Or It's not Temperance. It's Judgment. I was hoping it would be Demon Judgment, but this is fine too. And then you can give me some HP and we'll, you know, work it out. Song and dance. Gearing it up for the chasing around. More keys. Never hurt anybody, probably. 
Statistically speaking, there probably is, you know, a couple of people out there in the world who have been killed by keys. I apologize if I've offended them or their families. Didn't mean anything by it. A Suicide King card, huh? If we get nine lives on this floor, I would love to use the Suicide King card. If we don't get nine lives on this floor, there's not really much we can do about it, is there? There's our HP upgrade. We'll take Yera for now. We could have doubled our uh, our judgments, but I think that's a that's a bit of a short-sighted use of the Yera rune. It's my favorite dismemberment plan song as well. All right, so we'll take these. I don't really care if there's uh, tinted rocks here. We're at the point where, like, there comes a point. I'm gonna colloquially call it the Neo point. On every Isaac run, there becomes a point where it doesn't matter what you do, you've done enough. You know, the game will bend to your will. It's like you know when uh, Lawrence Fishburne in The Matrix says, you know. Or Keanu Reeves starts by saying, you know, are you telling me that I'll be able to dodge bullets? And then Lawrence Reeves, <laughs> Lawrence Reeves, Lawrence Fishburne says, no. What I'm telling you is that when you're ready, you won't have to. And then that's where we're at right now. Like, it doesn't matter if we get hit. We're pretty much balling out of control as is. I don't think I want Red Candle, honestly. I think I'll just be better off taking, like, one of these. Maybe a pill? I think it's pheromones, though, so I'm going to avoid it. Come on. Ah, really hoping for nine lives out of that so we could use the Suicide King effectively. Before you get mad at me for not taking Wiggle Worm, recognize that uh, Little Brimstone is not affected by it, so it would just uh, very slightly change my existing shot. Hmm. I still don't have an orbital. It's blowing my mind. If I had taken Book of Revelations, obviously I could have gotten some, but I think we're better off with Unicorn Stub, even though that seems ridiculous. And nothing in there. Wow. Okay. Well, we're just going to take... The, well, there's one more room left. We're going to take the Yara rune into the boss fight. And if we... Uh, oh, this is great. Nine lives, dog. I don't even know if you can give it to me. Give it to me, baby. Nothing? Yara? Awas. Let's see if we get a black market or something. Mm, I always make that mistake. But it's not like we weren't going to... Like, we, we weren't going to take it down to the next floor anyway. So what does it matter? Just pop this pheromones pill. Get it out of there. Come on, I don't think it can give me nine lives, but maybe you could find it in your heart to break the rules of physics and give me nine lives instead. Bottle of pills. Tears down? I'm starting to think that this is a big old scam right here. You know what would be sweet? Is if, uh, I know we could play that once, who cares though. Uh, it would be sweet if you could... I'm assuming we'll get, be able to get rid of this heart on a deal with the devil. It'd be sweet if you could actually open like a stoma in the ground and then push stuff into it and it would automatically fall down to the next floor. How sweet would that be though? You know, if you want like, uh, oh, I want to take like the Awaz rune and the Yera rune down to the next floor. So you just push them both into the hole, you jump down to the next floor and there they are. It, it would probably make things a lot easier, which is not necessarily a good thing. But it would also, like, open up a whole bunch of new, like, strategic uh, doors that we've never had before. I guess it would also make things like the starter deck, like, a lot shittier. But it still turns all pills, all pills uh, into cards. Uh. I don't know. It could be interesting. Well, we're definitely getting the Polaroid here. I'm really hoping that we get, like, a sacrificial dagger. Because, good lord, I have not been able to make Unicorn Stump work, and we picked it up on the first freaking floor item room. It was the first room we went to in this entire run. But I still have high hopes. We're going to pick it up and, like, Brimstone at the same time. All right, so we're going to take Polaroid. And then in here, Guppy's Hairball to become Guppy, no doubt. Uh, is there an HP up here? Full health. All right. Well, we can't take Rotten Baby as much as I'd like to. And I would. But we pretty much became Rotten Baby anyway. Give me run, baby. Let's move along here. Womb one. This is a one run. At the very least, it should be. If it's not already. We now can drop the left hand. We'll make sure to take our Yara rune, rune with us. Why would we drop the left hand there as opposed to, you know, waiting till the cathedral? Because I'm going to forget. We actually are uh, with, with nine lives. Or sorry, not with nine lives. But with um, the guppy transformation... We're at the point where we could, if we wanted to, use Unicorn Stump. But it's kind of like, you know, you're, you're using Unicorn Stump to make your life better on this room, but it's going to make your life worse on the next room. You're, you're robbing from Peter to pay Paul, I think is the expression. Um, 
we'd be able to use our flies to probably get a kill. But then we wouldn't have any flies for the next room. But on a very difficult room, uh, like a boss fight, that might be the right choice or something like that. I'm still kind of hoping just Sacrificial Dagger shows up. That would not be the worst thing in the world. Also, apparently we don't really need... Um, we don't really need uh, left hand anyway, because we're pretty much just getting the benefits of left hand just from existing. Red chest showing up like crazy anyway. So this is not an XL floor, if I remember correctly, which is awesome for us. Means we will get a genuine deal with the devil. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a bunch of red chests, and if they are, considering we're already guppy, I'm not going to duplicate them. That will not be necessary. We're going to wait for the chest on the off chance that maybe we can pick up a blank card somewhere along the way. We did not get one in our shop, unfortunately. I hope I didn't mess that up. I'd feel pretty bad if I left a blank card behind on a blank card Yera rune potential run. That's the first damage we've taken on the womb, which makes me feel pretty good about ourselves here. Now we can see where we're going. There's a library and a double key room, which is uh, dice in this case. That should be interesting. I really, really don't want to reroll our whole run, but I probably will now that I think about it for longer than a second and a half because we'll still be guppy so that's like a pretty good way of like hedging your bets it's like hey do you want to re-roll your life with somebody by the way you'll still be a god that's it's good enough two health upgrades I'm going to take them I'm gonna take one of them I guess uh, and recognize that I don't where did I pick up that half heart I'm we're still in permanent Polaroid invincibility just don't pick up any more half hearts you freaking idiot Easy. This is a uh, interesting room for us. Bunch of books. Look, Book of Belial is better. There's no question about it. And I might like to take it. Um, but I still I hold out hope that Unicorn Stump is going to pull it all together for us here. You might disagree, but here we are. You know. I don't know what that sentence is supposed to mean, but you know, I, I'm not wrong, right? I guess that's what, when you say, here we are, you're supposed to be like, well, I used to disagree with you, but he just said one thing that's implicitly true, so he must be credible. Three, that rerolls all the consumables on the ground, maybe on the entire floor. But we were still stuck with Bob's brain. Well, that way we should have gotten that justice card earlier. And then I picked up the full health, because I'm an idiot. I'm a loser, baby, but still gonna win, probably. Like with like 95% certainty I mean why not we've already gone down this road and we could go back and pick up the other HP upgrade but uh, I'm not really that invested in it now we'll wait and see if maybe we can trade it away on a deal with the devil first what's our other card devil eh Yara. yeah okay I'm sorry unicorn stump You've, you've had your chance. At this point, I think we have to go Book of Belial. This is not where we... We definitely don't want Bob's Rotten Head. I'm very disappointed. I took Unicorn Stump. Look, I'm... You can go back to, like, episode one of Isaac. I think I got... This chair is so... Squirty. Um... You can go back to episode one of Rebirth. I got Unicorn Stump, and I was like, Oh, cool, Unicorn Horn, you can use every room. Oh, wait, it doesn't do damage to things? Bullshit. My opinion has changed because of its cool synergies, but we picked up zero orbitals in the whole run. So, we gotta let it go, I guess. I guess I will pick up eight bombs for two keys. That's an okay trade. It's gonna be even more than that. It's, in fact, it was ten bombs and some money for zero keys. That's alright, too. I know that there was a uh, boss trap room back there. Because we're already guppy, I'm not that invested in what's actually in that boss trap room. But if we get the opportunity to go back to it, we'll, we'll consider it. Why not? I mean, with Book of Belial, we should be able to steamroll pretty much any, you know, quote-unquote bosses we'd come across at this point. Weird run, man. I mean, it's good. We're going to win. So I really shouldn't complain, but I find myself wanting to complain. I'm like, oh, I only have Death's Touch, Little Brimstone, my damage kind of sucks. I mean, it, it sort of does, though. We're still going to win. I don't like to be ungrateful, but I feel like with with the tools at our disposal, we didn't quite reach our full potential on this run. But maybe that's just me trying to wipe the taste of, uh, you know, not being able to use Unicorn Stump effectively out of my head. Pills have been a little disappointing. 
Normally I like to stay away from the big rooms, but I think it just doesn't matter in this case. It does suck that it's... It's not a dead end, but there's no rooms here that we had to go through this room to get. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? What do you got for me? Oh, you got something for me. What do you got for me now? Have you picked up uh, anything useful you might have for me? Apparently not. Look, don't be mad, but I'm not going back for those bombs. At this point, it is uh, unnecessary. I'm also not going to be worrying about tinted rocks for the near future. Nor am I uh, going to be picking up all the consumables that drop. Some of these pills might be good. We don't need health up anymore. Bombs are key is fine. Pheromones is okay. And are you a wizard is terrible. Mostly did that just to get the information out of them. I'll pick up the money. Because there is an off chance we could get uh, money equals power. Damage is my motivator. You know the expression, haters are my motivators? Nah, dog. Straight up damage. Yo, just because the slogan doesn't rhyme, doesn't mean it's not potent and accurate, man. Wake up, sheeple. Alright, I'm not going to the curse room. We're just going to head down to our uh, cathedral here. And we're so close to being able to use this Yara rune. This run has been like a fucking trust fund or something like that, man. Like, we got all these things. Oh, we got a Yara rune. Oh, we got a uh, unicorn stump. We can't use it now, but later it'll be useful. We've been holding on to this shit. Might as well use this, I guess. We've been holding on to this shit for so long, we haven't really been able to use it ourselves. But finally, the time for, for us to collect on our debts is coming up. Be ready. This Friday. <laughs> Welcome to the end of this episode. We're going to leave you with a cliffhanger. Wouldn't that be great? Every t That's my new strategy. You know, some YouTubers uh, d divide their uh, videos into, you know, segments by 20 minutes or 15 minutes or half an hour or something like that. Whenever I get down to one heart in Isaac... That's when I'm going to end the video, and then we'll start up the next day with the conclusion of the run. It's all about cliffhangers, man. We'll have some episodes that are 11 minutes long and some episodes that uh, never end. And, yeah, that makes sense. Don't think about it too hard, and anything makes sense. Tarot card? Oh, Joker could be useful. Credit card? Not really that meaningful for me, unfortunately. I would love to, I'd love to be able to take it, just in case we got a Joker card and starter deck, I guess, so we could take it in to the Devil Room, but unfortunately, can't really justify it, given the current climate. Should be using Book of Bilal more often, but, you know, if there's one thing that I have a problem with, it's reading the seeds that I write down myself. Like, what is up with that? Seriously. Learn how to read and or write, Northern Lion. But no, if there's one thing I have a problem with, it's, you know, too good to use syndrome, man. No, you know, I don't want to use my Phoenix down. What if I never get another one? So stupid. You can buy them for like a hundred gil. All right. But Book of Bilal is different, man. What if we use it right before our boss? Then we won't have it on our boss, and it'll take us four seconds longer to actually kill our boss. Oh, we're taking nine lives. Yeah. You might think I'm salty that we don't have Suicide King, so I can't use it, but Yara Rune more exciting than Suicide King. Suicide King just weirder. I like it when we can use it, but, uh, you know, no skin off my scrot right now as far as I'm concerned. Should get that spirit heart. We are super guppy now. Four guppy items. Maybe actually five guppy items, right? Because we also... I think we might have literally all of them. So we picked up the head. Maybe we don't have the tail? We might not have the tail. We might have the tail, though. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. We picked up the head after we had already had three, because we already were guppy at that point. You know, I'm not going to sweat leaving consumables behind when we're doing so much GD damage to enemies. Plus nine lives, like, if you're doing damage with nine lives, you're set, man. As long as you can beat the boss given, like, five different opportunities to do so, nothing can hold you back. Don't quote me on that. I've been held back before. That's actually not true. But if it's happened to you, that doesn't matter, man. I hear Elon Musk failed third grade. It actually might not be true, but does it matter whether or not it's true if it motivates you? You know, genius is, uh, you know, selecting the information that motivates you best and ignoring the rest, I think. That's also a quote that I just made up, but hey, it fits in with the theme of the, the tone of the quote, doesn't it? Someone very smart said it. Literally two seconds ago. All right, so we should be totally fine on this run. More specifically on the Isaac uh, fight in general. But I would love to not have to be fighting him in about mm, 1.2 seconds. One Mississippi. There we go. 
Let's head down to the next floor. Thank you, Founding Fathers of the United States of America, for naming a state in such a way that saying it at a conversational pace is pretty much exactly one second, at least for approximate uses. Gimpy, Monstro's Tooth. I give that pair a C. Mom's Eye, HP. I give that one a C minus. Number one, forget me now. High marks. High marks, friend. That's a B plus. Butterbean, again, Technology 2. Look, I know people hate Technology 2 and it's a damage downgrade, but I'm going to take it. And I'm also going to take this. And I'm going to take Gimpy. And then I'm going to take the Forget Me Now. And then I'm going to come back down. And I know that's going to lose Book of Belial for us. No curses, though. All right. Little Chub. That's like a C+. Plus. Technology 1. I don't even know what this is, but I'm happy to have it. Robo Baby 2.0. That's like a C. Bloody Lust. For one floor, it could be good. Could be like a B. If I'd known that we'd get technology, I might not have taken technology too. But it looks like one of them is still generating flies, so that's the important thing. And if we could just get tech point five, the whole family will be together here. And we're doing a decent amount of damage uh, in our own right here. We still have, uh, we still have shielded tears. We still got flies. We're still gonna win. I wanted to state fully and equivocally, without any doubt, that I know that technology is a damage downgrade. And I picked it up regardless because I valued the tier effect more than I valued the uh, the damage at that point. Even though I value damage above all, the reason I valued the tier effect is because I think it improves our DPS. But a lot of the time now, I will not take technology too. It's just because this situation is so strange that I figured it, you know, kind of bore using. It's like Darkest Dungeon, man. I really should just say I know that there's camping skills, and I'm choosing not to spec them because I don't fully understand how that metagame, you know, progression is supposed to work. I might end up specking dumb shit and we're killing the game anyway. But I need to say it because otherwise people are getting mad at me. On runs that are almost flawless, people were like, oh, but you didn't spec your camping skills. I'm like, oh, don't worry about it, everyone. Your your concerns are being heard loud and clear. I just I need to communicate better, all right? It's, I'm, I'm the guy who records, but I'm also the guy who reads the comments, and I'm the guy who has to be a little bit better about community management. I'm doing my best, but there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of, of duties to be done here that I'm not necessarily 100% well-versed in or trained in. D20. I mean, we might as well take it. Wish I hadn't picked up all that money. And we rerolled that into BBF, which is pretty awesome. I will finish this run if we find the, uh, if we find the Blue Baby boss room soon. Because I don't think there's any uh, real need for us to, to push this one out longer than is necessary, unless we get Undefined or something along those lines. I hate this room, man. Alright, so this should finish it. It's a pretty easy one, a pretty comfortable one. We got, I mean, we got lucky early, which is always nice. Start your day off right, but um, it, it just kind of snowballed out of control from there. And being able to pick up the goat head, even though it... You know, we were at risk of death as a result of picking it up. Uh, also set us up to basically, weirdly enough, as long as we survived past the penalty that the goat head gave us HP-wise, we weren't going to lose. We were we were set up for life, basically. But thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.